Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Please watch the video all the way through. I couldn't express to you how much I would appreciate it. This video was taken over a few days. Uh, I actually completely forgot to film an intro, so here we are. Uh, we're going to be working on the 24 Tundra again today. Um, got a lot more exciting stuff this time than the last video. Um, and the next video, believe it or not, I'm doing this completely backwards. The next video, I'm actually going to be walking through all of the things on the truck itself and the things I love and hate about it. Um, this was just kind of, I had stuff come in and I wanted to put it on. I got excited. I got ahead of myself and here we are. Um, but anyway, enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine. So I realized that I forgot to kind of let you guys know what I was doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in here now. Um, filming it way after the fact, but it's okay. Uh, so we're going to start the video out. I'm going to be doing some two by sixes. I'm going to be cutting them down and doing a little bit of a storage type situation. Um, it's mainly to protect the drains for my dyno cover, but it also kind of serves its purpose as like a little storage cubby too. So we're going to build that first. Then we're going to move on and do the bed lights. All right, guys, so I actually moved locations to finish this up. I have two more cuts to make um, just for some little extra pieces that I want to put in. And then I'll actually show you guys what I did and why I did it. Uh, this location has a little bit better lighting for me measuring wise. Uh, there was just a light plant behind me before and it just wasn't good enough. So let's go ahead and get started. I just went ahead and measured what I need to cut. It's somewhere between 12 and a quarter and 12 and a half, depending on where the board lands. So I'm just going to cut it 12 and a half and I can shim it from there. As you can tell, my battery powered Craftsman saw sucks. Alright, so in case you guys were missing what I was doing here, I put these little notches here to protect these drains on either side. And that way now I have a little storage cubby here that I can use since I don't have a toolbox. Okay, so now we've finished up the, the bed organization and storage areas that I did with the 2x6s. It's nothing crazy, but... I do want to now let you know that we're going to be moving on to the bed light wiring. Um, with the tonneau cover that I have, it makes it very, very dark to be able to see what is in there without opening the tonneau cover, which I don't want to have to do every single time because most of the time everything's within arm's reach. So I'm putting some lights in because my model didn't come with the bed lights from the factory like some did. We're going to, we're going to try some stuff. We'll see how it goes. So from my understanding, this plug here has a blue wire that is going to, I think my neighbor just pulled up, is going to tell me if I have power. Yep, there's the blue wire. The idea here is, is that I'm trying to find what has power when the tailgate is open. All right guys, so as I told you, 
I'm gonna be figuring out what wire on this gives me power when the tailgate opens. I have an idea of what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's gonna work. So first things first, I'm gonna unplug this. And the blue wire, I've already kind of opened this up just to see the blue wire, it's the dark blue wire, goes to this center pin right here. And I went ahead and actually, funny enough, I put a twist tie, I took this insulation off of a twist tie and put it on my lead. So I'm gonna put this into here and then put my lead through it. So that was my fix for that. And then I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see or not, but I'm gonna put the lead, the, uh, the ground on a frame bolt. And as you can see, uh, maybe, um, is there a light? No, oh, yep. It's not showing anything yet, but I do have the key somewhere, if I can find it. And it actually has a button to open the bed, or the tailgate. So I'm gonna press that. I wish there was a way to get this to set somewhere for you guys. Um, what, what if I do? I don't know if this is gonna work, by the way, for the record. Um, I'm just gonna have to press the button. Actually, what if I did this? Okay. So, it's gonna automatically read when I press this button, and we'll see if this is the right wire. Those lights, the cabin lights, are what would be powered right now if it was plugged in. I'm gonna go under there and plug it in for you guys, and we'll see what happens when I plug it in. And they're on, so perfect. We figured out which wire to do the bed lights to. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight. That seems like a lot of work. But if I do, I will record it either way whenever I do it. So here we are. We figured out which wire to tie into. That's what matters. All right, so I've kind of got a little bit of inspiration to do some of this wiring. Um, not entirely sure that I'm gonna finish all of this or not, but we're gonna try and do some of it. <laughs> um, so I have the idea of putting my switch right here. So uh, the idea is that it's going to always be on if the tailgate is down. But I want the switch there so that I can still open it up and turn off the switch if, say, I'm working on something on the tailgate, but it's in the middle of the day, I don't need the lights on. So that will kind of coincide there. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm actually gonna be grounding to this bolt right here. And then my power is gonna come from the blue wire in here that we just checked. And that's really all there is to it down here. Everything else is gonna be up top. And we have the switch going in and then the lights and then we're gonna be pretty much done. Guys. I've done a lot since the last time I recorded. I apologize, but this has been the biggest nightmare. So I really didn't want to fix this wiring that this other company did for my strobe lights. Take a look at this wiring that this company did for my strobe lights on my work truck. And then just right over the wheel well. And it comes out up there. I really didn't want to do it. I've kind of had to, in a sense. So what they did was they ran a four wire trailer wiring harness from the front of the truck all the way to the back of the truck. So when they did that, they also cut wires. They only used two of them. So I still don't understand why they used a four, like why not, like you, I would have rather use fucking speaker wire at this point to be completely honest with you, but it, regardless, anyway. So I have sat here and wired these lights three different ways because the wires run from the front of the truck to the back of the truck. So I was like, well, fuck, I'll just tie into one of them because my idea of running it with this cargo light here doesn't work, unfortunately. Long story short, 
I'm just wiring it to this little switch that came with the lights right here. My lights are still sitting right here, but I found the problem. The problem was, is yes, they did run it. So what I did was I took the white wire. Is there a flashlight up here? No, there's not. Hold on a second. Let me grab a flashlight. So I ran the white wire of this four wire trailing harness and I ran it to this inline fuse here. I promise I'm going to clean all this up right now. I'm really just trying to get this damn thing figured out because they made this so hard on me. So anyway, they ran that with the lights all the way to the front of the truck. I took it back and ran it behind, along the firewall, which then comes into the truck, goes all the way to the back of the truck, down through the truck, under the truck, through the wheel well, to the back trail, or, uh, hitch. When they did that, for some unknown reason that I couldn't possibly tell you, they took that wire and they cut it for no reason. Oh, and look at this. Even more inline splices. Guys, if you don't know how to wire, don't go work for a truck accessories place that you're going to have to wire. Pretty sure most people are smart enough not to do that, but clearly somebody isn't. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up and it might be tomorrow by the time that I actually get these bed lights in, but they will be wired tonight. So I'll show you that they work, but I don't know if they're going to be in the bed yet. We'll see. It's been about 30 seconds, but guys, guess what? We got light. So we are going to be putting them in the bed along the bed rails. So mirrored, I'm so confused. So they're going to be going around the bed rails, around the back. Hopefully you're going to be lighting the hell out of this bed because it's very dark, especially working nights. Uh, it's very hard to see anything unless I open the tonneau cover, which I don't want to do every time I want to get something out of my cooler or my little tote box. So anyway, I'm not sure what time it is. If it's not too late, I think I'm going to put these in. Stay tuned. So guys, I finally finished everything up. I got really busy with work and just everything else going on in life, but everything's finished now. It's ready to go. I'm going to show you guys how I got everything set up and that'll be pretty much it for the day. So I actually ran the wires through here down underneath and everything's underneath so that the only wire that actually comes up is this wire that goes to the switch. Everything else is tucked under there. I got to fix that actually. But yeah, everything's done. So I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. So I have it ran down this edge here, same on the other side. And then on the back, I actually aimed it up to produce kind of a glow. And then my switch is right here. The only thing that I have left is I'm gonna put the switch right here. I'm gonna mount it right here. Other than that, we are done. We're good to go. And now you can see. So here, I'll turn it off so you guys can see how bad it was before. So you can see at the edge, but only because there's actually light out here. Um, out on the job site, it's dark and you can't see anything. Believe it or not, I completely forgot to film an outro too. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if there's any suggestions on what I could do better, what I what is just something you don't like, maybe even some video ideas. Anything that you could possibly tell me, I am open to criticism. I am open to ideas. This is all, all a new journey for me. So feel free to tell me whatever and anything that you could possibly think of. I will happily accept any information, any commentary, any ideas, whatever you can throw at me. Thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next week. I'm uploading every Wednesday if you haven't figured that out yet.